The United States has imposed financial sanctions on two sons of Lord's Resistance Army leader Joseph Kony. Authorities believe Salim Kony and Ali Kony have been instrumental in the trafficking and sale of ivory from the DRC. Daniel Wrenches has more. So here's what the US Treasury is telling us about these two sons of Joseph Kony. In June 2014, they say Salim Kony entered the DRC with LRA fighters to poach ivory from the Garamba National Park and uncover ivory previously hidden there. A month later, he transported 52 pieces to the disputed region of Kafia Kingi. Then in May 2015, they say there was a second batch of 20 pieces of ivory. The Treasury says Salim's brother Ali oversaw the operation to move and deliver the ivory to their father, Joseph Kony, in Kafia Kingi. The U.S. says since then the LRA has been selling the ivory for U.S. dollars or Sudanese pounds and trading or buying weapons and ammunition used to continue to attack civilians in Central Africa, along with buying basic food supplies for the group. Now, since the joint African Union multi-region effort supported by the U.S. began, Kony's LRA has diminished and fractured. Therefore, illicit trade in ivory has become an important element in sustaining the group. The U.S. Treasury's use of a current executive order designed to financially incapacitate the group will be useful, according to the research and campaign group The Enough Project, which says it will make it more difficult and risky for traders, corrupt officials and army officers in the region to do business with the LRA. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, at the U.S. Treasury Building in Washington.